Live from WJZ, this is Breaking News. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Nikki Zizazo. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and on WJZ TV. We're staying on top of breaking news a fire in Southwest Baltimore. And WJZ live on that scene right now. Christina Mendez, the latest on what is unfolding just hours before Thanksgiving. Christina. Nikki and Rick, we're getting a close up view of what's left of this shell of vacant home. You can see that fire crews are still working at this very moment to pour water into this structure. You can see there that red turned square reflective badge. That indicates that these are vacant properties. Again, this was a 2022 initiative that we know the fire department put in place to mark those unsafe structures. Of course, this also comes along with that brand new uh, policy in place where firefighters are told to only attack these fires from the outside of these uh, row home fires, which is exactly what's on display before us right now. We're seeing them attack this from the ground level. They also have a fire crew uh, on a ladder stretched out, pouring water right into that middle window. This is a three-story um, wood frame vacant building here. There's also fire crews, if my photographer Sean can pan up to the right there. So right there, that's actually an occupied home, we're told. Everyone's okay. Everyone was evacuated from that home. They were able to get out safely. No injuries reported from this fire and also minimal damage. So as you mentioned, Rick, this is, of course, coming on the eve of Thanksgiving. Thankfully, we can report, according to um, Kevin Cartwright, the chief spokesperson here on scene with us, he does tell us the family will be able to return home. So that is a silver lining to, I'm sure, a very scary situation unfolding just next door to them. At this point, we're told it's just too early to determine how exactly this all played out. They say it's also unsafe at this point for firefighters to go inside and kind of poke around to determine what may have caused this fire, but they said if and when that's safe to do so, they will do that. For now, the focus is simply on making sure that this fire stays out and under control. Talk back to you in studio. 